just get that? Okay, so on action, you guys are gonna chat amongst yourselves, and then I'll count it down, and I'll go, act, you know, and then I'll go cross legs, and then it'll be bam, 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 and then chat a little bit more, okay? We're gonna go ahead and roll. Are we chatting yet? Uh, you're chatting now. Okay. Chat, reading, and chatting, looking to the magazine. Camera speed? Yeah. Chatting, looking, chatting. And I look over at Tiffany's magazine, yeah. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna cross legs, we're starting with Tiffany, on down. One, two, three. You're always good. One more time, you're set. Go again. Was I still slow? Faster. You're fat. Sorry, what do you want me to do, lie about it? No, charity. Okay, and one, two, three, go. This is this bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, go. Nice, okay, we set. We're gonna go again with that. Okay, and do you need to, is anybody up? Yeah, put it up for you. Okay, nice. Keep chatting, keep chatting. Chatting, chatting, chatting. Gonna do the legs. One, two, three, go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay? All right, you guys step out. We're gonna quickly reset for this acute angle over here. Hey, welcome to the set of Z, a zombie musical. I'm John McLean. I am the writer and director of this picture, which is, uh, as the name would suggest, a musical about zombies. So this uh, project started uh, a year and a half ago or so. I wrote a short film that was from the point of view of the zombies. It's called The Zombieversary, and it featured this guy at home. He was a zombie, and he was kind of listening to an old Victrola, listening to classical music, and reading a, a play by uh, Oscar Wilde, and very kind of erudite sort of guy. And, his wife gets home from a hard day at work with a bag full of body parts and stuff, and she thinks he's just been lazing around all day long and not doing anything, and uh, it's her anniversary, and she thinks he doesn't remember it. And it turns out he's got a, he takes her downstairs to the basement of their house where they live, and they've got this human girl tied up naked down there. He's got it that he's captured for, and so he's got this beautiful present for her so they can have a nice dinner. And the kind of spirit of it was that these were walking, talking, erudite zombies who where when the humans weren't around, they were just like ordinary people. They were sort of like Anne Rice's vampires, only maybe a little dirtier, but it was all from their point of view in this short. So I sent a notice out on uh, a casting list around here in Austin, and I got such an overwhelming response of people who wanted to be in it, and there were only three parts in the, in the little picture. I was like, maybe I'm wasting this idea to do a short. So I began developing it into a feature, into something longer so I could do more with the idea, because I love the idea of doing it from the zombie's point of view. So it, that's how it sort of started out, and it's been going since then. Uh, I think it was partly the, the zombie genre is a very popular genre and no one had ever done a musical and it was simply something, the idea intrigued John and uh, that's why it expanded to a feature because it was something that a short really could not do justice to and no one's ever done a zombie musical. We like the same kind of rock opera sort of, you know, where it's very deliberate and it's not, you know, the Rodgers and Hammerstein sort of, you know, stuff that I, has been drilled into my head for ugh, a long time. Uh, it was a musical with dancing and singing zombies and I thought, oh my god, that sounds kind of cool, you know, okay. And um, it's just been, it's been a blast. I mean, I've had so many good laughs and good times with these people. It's been an incredible experience. It really has. Today we are shooting the makeover montage. It's where our three lead characters are coming in and getting made over. They're going to get into their new costume for the film. Find a, get a position that's comfortable for you, legs crossed, whatever you want to do, that you feel like you can comfortably hold for a few minutes while we shoot the rest of them. And then you guys just stay basically still, okay? And you guys, you know, and you come in with them, you both of you come in with them. So they're coming in, and you guys maybe flank on either side, and you come around, and you're just going to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doodle, 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 doodle. You just be constant movement, movement, you know, movement, movement, movement. And it's going to be, the whole thing will be 12 seconds. We're going to shoot for five minutes. Okay, so give eight to see if we get about right here. Get him a little bit closer. David, you'll be on this side. Okay. And then we call action. We're going to go. We don't need music for this. Okay, and action. And you separate, split, then you go work on somebody else while he's working on that. Yeah, yeah, you're not working together. Okay, David, get in the middle. Spritz. 
Okay, Debbie, split up. Go around the other way. Go all the way around. Debbie, walk all the way around. Just keep going. Keep going around. Okay. And like, now touch Hallie's hair and start working on Hallie. Okay, go. Good, Hallie. That's nice. Tell me you got it, Hallie? Yes. Okay. All right. And cut. Great. Okay, moving on. Actually, it's a montage, which means we're not actually singing, but we're, we've got no, uh, song over us. So there will be music playing, and we'll just be a fast-forwarded kind of motion going on. Actually, I have done a project with John previously called The Perfect Man Contest, and, uh, which is an excellent feature film. Um, and so when he said he was doing another one, I said, what do you got for me? And uh, one of my favorite things is comedy. And this is a comical part, and so he asked me if I'd do it, and I said, yes, I'd love to. So that's how it happened. It's been really exciting. There are lots of parts to it, the dancing, the choreography, the... Um, the body paint, <laughs> that's probably been the most challenging part, <laughs> is all the body paint. David's going to lead you up the stairs, uh, you're going to be a short know. distance behind, yeah. The hardest parts have been the dance scenes, um, as far as movements go, I guess, but um, Amy is our choreographer and she's been awesome. Um, I'm not a dancer by any stretch, so she's really, really patient. <laughs> A lot of the impromptu dancing on my part has helped out with, with this. And also just imagining what I would like to see on a stage or in a production. Of course, on stage things are bigger and larger than life. For the film, I've had to tone everything down and really begin to look for the flavor of things and the nuances and the little details that, that read on film that may not on stage. In many musicals, most of the dancing is done by professional dancers who sort of support the leads, who are kind of around them. Um, I wanted the kind of raw feel of like Cannibal the Musical, the uh, Stone and Parker musical. It's very silly kind of dancing. It's not meant to be highly stylized, overly glossy Broadway type of dancing, which I think is all well and good, but it's hard to pull off. I think it's more fun though to do a musical because you have that singing and dancing and all the rest of it. And the songs are funny and fun and other films, you know, just the straight dialogue. There's nothing to really spice it up as much as music and dancing. So I've enjoyed that part of it. His reaction was better. And you didn't get the railing. Yeah. No I call that good. Well, good thing we already did. It's already changing since we've already moved on. Okay, now let's quickly reset. We're gonna be shooting this way. Uh, because of the shot, we don't really need the dolly track for that one. We need lighting, though, right? We might need lighting, I don't know. The stretched out of time and no finance, I mean, no pay to the actor, that's kind of tough. But, you know, this is, this is Austin, it's the independent uh, capital. That's what you expect to do because, for my instance, the money's not that big of an issue because I never know the directors that I'm working with where they're going to go. And I want them to realize that I'm one of those kind of actors that they want to have on a set that's there to help and work at, you know, work at it and really make a good product no matter what the budget or what the pay or no pay. Because down the line, I know those directors are going to want to work with me, I hope, again. The life of an actor. For you. You'll be. We hope to finish shooting uh, by the end of January and then the editing process, which I hope three or four months uh, that's one of those imponderables because John can only edit in his free time. And uh, so hopefully by the time this airs in March or April or whenever it is, we'll have it pretty well finished with editing. It takes a lot longer to make a musical and to make a zombie musical than any other kind of picture. If this had been just a straight movie, a drama with the same story but without them being zombies or the musical, we would have been finished in half the time. We would have shot the whole movie in like two months instead of like five months that it's taking right now. So.